Well, whether you found this video directly by finding this directly or you came from my previous one, this is a mobile phone mount specifically designed for mag the MagSafe charger so that you can use this MagSafe charger to mount your new iPhone 12s or maybe later in the vehicle. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to TechGooch, and today I have a product that I also didn't have a whole lot of hopes for, to be honest about it. Um, and when I bought it, I actually didn't know it, was came, it came in a two-pack. So even better, for the measly price of, I want to say it was like 12 bucks. It could be a couple bucks off on that. I'll put a link down below. But this cheap piece of plastic literally is, uh, you know what, I'm going to bring it in. So this mount is extremely simple, right? It's just a molded piece of plastic with a actual ball hinge on it with a actually screw tightener. So this is how it comes, it comes loose. Um, so you can actually pop this ball out if you need to. Um, but that's all it is, pretty simple. And then you have the tensioning device here that just essentially does exactly that. So it takes a second to get it on. Let's see if I can get it started. It's I mean, to be honest, even when I first got it and I took it out of the, the first one I have, uh, I like I said, it comes with two. I have one mounted in my vehicle currently. Um, there we go. Just go backwards until you get it to catch on. And uh, I mounted it and I, you know, of course, uh, got it every, exactly where I wanted it to go. Uh, tightened the ball joint up exactly at the, the angle that I wanted it to have it at. And it's th like, this is not expensive plastic, right? It's pretty cheap. I mean, just look at it. it. It's cheap, right? But it works extremely well. I, I was blown away at how well it actually works. Um, so you have your MagSafe charger, and the MagSafe charger just kind of clicks into place, right? It just friction fit. That's it. That, that's it. You have your cable hanging down. You plug that into your uh, your car adapter that you would have. Uh, you do want to make sure that you have a car adapter that has a decent amount of output in terms of wattage. Uh, if you can get to 20, great, because that's going to be what this is going to require to get to be able to charge your, your device at its full speed of charging. Uh, if you have a output that's less than that, it's not going to charge as fast. It'll still work, but it just won't charge as fast. Um, but, you know, it's just 3M BHP tape. You just, you know, unpeel, stick that, you stick that wherever you want. You, you know, your phone. What I, I did is I, I had you know, I got it on center where I wanted it, um, kind of figured out how I wanted it, undid that, stuck it to the dash, and once I got it at the correct angle, then you crank this sucker nice and tight, the actual collar, and it doesn't move. I thought for sure, after having it on in my vehicle for, uh, boy, I've had it in there for o over a month, actually. It hasn't moved since the day I got it in there, and I use it almost every single time I, I, I go into my vehicle, and specifically for anything more than just down the road to grab groceries and back. I don't use it then, but anything longer than that, yeah, sure, why not? Um, the MagSafe, the magnets that are actually built into the MagSafe uh, itself are not, I, I mean, they're, they're powerful, but they're not crazy powerful, right? And that was the other thing that I was thinking is if you don't have, like, at least even the positioner magnet that they have here, down here, the, that this thing is only going to hold so long before she collapses and goes down onto the floor. I have not had that happen one time yet. Even driving, hitting potholes, doesn't matter. Um, driving off my off driveways at full speed. I have not had it come off of this at any time. Now, I don't keep it at 90 degrees to the to the floor, right? I do have it at a slightly upward angle towards my vision. And I try to keep it up as much as I can. So, Because obviously, if it's like this, it's going to be more prone to fail. If it's like this, it's going to be less prone. So obviously, if you can tilt it back better. And I have the biggest of the, the, of the phones, the 12 Pro Max, the big one. And even then, this thing, and this is the actual Apple MagSafe charger, has not had any issues at all. The thing is fantastic, and it works really good as a car mount. Now, like I said, it's not super secure. There are going to be better devices out there um, that will actually have well, what they call the positioning magnet in there, so you have another piece to hold it. It'll like maybe have a larger or like more of a square array, so it has more friction um, with, with the rubber, but... The magnets, uh, along with the rubberized surface that is here on the actual MagSafe charger, works really, really well to keep the phone where it needs to go. So we're going to go out, I'm going to show you it in my vehicle, and we're going to drive down the road, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in my vehicle being used, uh, and then we'll come back down and we'll, we'll finish up. Okay, guys, so we're 
I'm, I'm actually driving. I, th I figure that's going to be the best way to show you exactly what I'm talking about for how it actually works. So you can see how I have it uh, mounted here on my dash on my truck. Um, well, you can see my other phone mounts up here yet. Um, but this is the quick, quick adhesive ready to go. And if I have my phone, I just plug it on there. And there she goes, charging up. So it works really, really good. Um, it's the thing about it is that it holds just enough where I don't have to worry about it falling down on me. Now, the one benefit of it not having that um, that directional mount, that little magnet on the bottom, is that I can actually mount this any direction I want. I can do it, uh, you know, at 45 degrees if I want to, because there's no orientation magnet, right? It's just around the circle, around the actual MagSafe circle. But because of that rubberized surface, I think, in addition to how powerful the magnet is, I don't have to worry about my phone falling down. I mean, I can go over some pretty heavy bumps, uh, and that thing's not going anywhere. It has not gone anywhere yet, and I've had it, uh, like I said, I've had it going for over a month now. So I can say with confidence that it works really well. Now, I do have, uh, a, I think it's a Belkin uh, dual port USB-C ch uh, charger for it to plug into. And I do, I would like to eventually get somewhere where these the cable will go, but... Now you can see at least what I'm talking about of how well it actually functions in the vehicle because every single time works great. Charges, uh, you know, at a pretty good rate as well. Um, so I got I got great things to say about it. It for the for the price, you know, in all reality, it's it's fourteen or thirteen bucks for two of them. So it's six fifty six dollars and fifty cents for that little piece of plastic, which is uh yeah that's a bargain to be honest about it so it works good of course you have to have a magsafe charger to work with and you're not going to pull it out all the time so i have a couple of them now and i'm gonna have to get another one for my other vehicle so yeah that's the uh the fairly inexpensive magsafe charger mount i guess that works really well so it comes in this bag um i think it's like talohu or something like that uh, twelve ninety nine, not uh, not twelve bucks. Twelve ninety nine, so thirteen bucks. It works really well. It comes with two of them. Now, even in the description, I think it even says two pieces or whatever. I didn't see that the first time. I was just looking at uh, at a couple different mounts. I wanted to buy, order a couple inexpensive MagSafe mounts because at that time there weren't a whole lot out there yet. I wanted one that actually did charging, not just use the MagSafe to mount it to the dash. <sighs> And use the actual mag, you know, MagSafe charger. Let's let's give it a try. I am impressed. By for 13 bucks, you can't go wrong. Now, of course, there's better ones out there. I'm not saying there aren't, but for 13 bucks, I get two mounts, so I can put mounts in both my vehicles. Now, of course, I have to supply the MagSafe charger, and the MagSafe charger goes for 40 bucks. You can find it on Amazon for 35. I'm gonna put links not only to the actual mount, but also to the MagSafe charger as well down in the description so take a peek at that um but yeah they're they're on sale or they have been on sale uh, on amazon for quite a little bit five you know 4.99 off or whatever 4.99 off is better than nothing or four bucks or whatever so if you have any questions about this let me know uh comment below subscribe if you can out of the two mounts that i ordered um yeah the other one's going back that thing is garbage this thing is works really really well so um not to say it's not a name brand, it's nothing crazy fancy or anything, but it works. And that is what is important to me, is that it works. So, thanks a lot for, a lot for watching to the end. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and we'll catch you back here on TechHooch for another future video review. See you soon.